Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is a game called Jetpack Joyride, Half Brick and Lucky Duck Games. It is for two to four players, takes about 15 and a half an hour to play, and it's for ages, I would say, 10 and up. Uh, they say eight and up. Uh, in the game, you're basically going to be uh, finding a jetpack, blowing your way through a corridor, and then trying to escape this laboratory or this this maze of obstacles. There's going to be bombs and scientists and different like death rays trying to come at you, and you're going to try to avoid them. Well, it's a dexterity game, and uh, much like the application itself, you're going to be using your jetpack to move around through these labs. Now, otherwise, you're going to also remember a game called Blocus or Blockus, depending on how you want to pronounce it, where you use these type of little. Uh, these little see-through chits here. Um, these are basically going to be your path you're taking throughout the library or throughout the uh, different uh, laboratories. And you're going to bust through the wall and then, of course, be placing as fast as you can to break through the other end of the wall. If you do that, you're going to end the game. You're going to score points based on the amount of coins you pick up, maybe a scientist that you give high fives to, or just various things like dodging different rockets and whatnot. And you're going to have three rounds of the game, and the person with the most points at the end is the winner. If you were sitting behind me, you can see the different applications of the app. Maybe you'll find that the game is very, very similar. Here we have the contents for Jetpack Joyride, and as you can see, you're going to be getting the box, of course, the rule book, two separate types of cards, whether it be the items or the missions, a score sheet or score tracker in which you're going to be writing your name down and your scores throughout the rounds, a ton of these like blocus style cubes, or sometimes you use them as radius markers in different games, as well as four separate types of tiles that have fronts and backs for different portions of the laboratory, one, two, three, and four, but you'll be able to mix and match interchangeably between different rounds rounds. Uh, this is what you're going to be using throughout the game in order to move from one side of the board to the other and what it comes with. All right, let me tell you how to play it. So to begin the game, you're simply going to take four of these different tiles, each with the one, two, three, and four markers on them, and set them up in front of you so that they match each other. It's easy to actually tell where they match because they simply will connect and it'll look alike. Um, but they have their own unique different backgrounds, of course, and they have front and back. So you're just going to randomly choose them among all the different players, so for each player it gets four of them. You're also going to set out missions on the board, as well as items will be set separately. But you're going to take out, I believe, three different missions, and they're going to be different things you're going to need to do, like don't harm the scientists, play five tiles in one uh, sector, rub your head on the roof for 10 blocks. These are things you want to do throughout the game while collecting the coins if you possibly can to gain more points. You're going to write down the names of each of the players playing up to the four different players and get ready for the first round. Now when you do it, it's going to be like one, two, three, go, and you're going to be taking pieces and basically playing them across the board. And you're going to have to start by cracking through the wall and then placing them as much as you want dexterously or with great dexterity. And as you do that, you're going to be trying to collect collect certain things like the coins on the board here as you can see these things here as well as trying to do whatever the missions say. After the person uh, who completes it first whoever busts through the end of the other side of the wall that's going to end the round and then you're going to tally points. Now even if you didn't finish you can still get points and sometimes you might not want to finish based on the missions and sometimes you're going to want to be getting different types of points right. So you're going to count up the points you might get for um, basically your missions as well as any coins you're going to collect. The second round it's going to be the same thing but you're going to uh, move, uh, you're going to flip the boards over and then you're also going to uh, take the items out based on the number of players and let people choose them. The person who has the least amount of points will pick first. These items are going to be drastically different in the power based on the fact that the last player needs a boost. And after they pick their items, you're going to set up new missions and continue and do another third round in which you're going to be passing uh, one, two, three, four to your, to your left and having everybody pass. You can have different routes every single time. Do that once again. Whoever has the most points is the winner. All right, let me go ahead and show you the game in motion. Let's take you on a playthrough of one of the rounds with one of the players because once you get this, you'll get it for the rest of the game. It's very, very simple. Make sure you set up all of these different uh, tiles uh, so that everybody can read Reach them right just like you would in a game of galaxy truckers right select three missions this one says don't harm scientists so don't hit them uh, place tiles in place five tiles in one sector so it means if you put five of these in one sector as you're going across as well as rub your head on the roof for ten blocks so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that would score you these five points there's three points here and four points here now everybody's got this already and it's gonna be like this one two three go dexterity aspect the first thing you need to do is realize that you need to take your piece and make sure that it goes out one so you're busting through the wall here now also you have to avoid missiles and zappers as well as lasers right so I'm collecting a coin right here now the next time I place I have to make sure that I a can't move off of the board and B I have to make sure that the last tile connects with the first tile of each of my chosen um, type so for instance here 
I could connect it like this, right? Because it's connecting the last two tiles. Now I couldn't do this, I couldn't do this, and I couldn't do this. I have to make sure that it connects in some way to the last tile so that it makes sense. And it, it, it kind of goes in this little pattern here, right? And then my next aspect here, I think I could do this if I wanted to. Yep, I could do it like this and it would go across. Now, if I hit these, I'm going to lose points. If I hit zappers or missiles or lasers, I'm gonna take three points of, of, of loss in points. So you wanna make sure you can avoid that. So hitting that's bad, but you can choose to do so if you have no other options. Um, but, but placing like this, I couldn't do that because it would be this one is not connecting to that one. I could do that, but that's also going to cost me more points. So I have to try and avoid that, right? So doing something like this would work very well. And of course, remember, we have objectives. So don't harm any of the scientists. Make sure we don't hit these guys. Uh, place five tiles in a sector. Right now we did one, two, three, and four, which is not enough. And then rubbing your head on the roof. So we probably want to get a head on the roof here. So that would work. Uh, giving us a little bit more coinage, right? Uh, let's see what else we can do here. And you're looking around while everybody else is as well. So that's part of the aspect of the game. Um, how can we get up? Here's one right here. Bam. That's going to give us one, two, three, and four tiles on the roof. So that's good. And we can do this. And then we can, we're going to want to try and come back to the roof if possible. So oh, we can't do that because it takes us off the board. Uh, let's do this one right here. That makes sense. Now we're losing points because we're not scoring these coins, but we're also hitting this roof tile here. So that's going to give us points as well. So it's kind of a trade off. I could do this one, but that's going to end up having me hit this. So I don't really want to do that. Uh, this one's also going to have me hit it. Is there anyone I can do that's going to get me away with that? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, 11. So perfect. I would score this at the end of the game. I'm also scoring one, two, three, four coins. I'm going to lose those three there though. And it was just all done simultaneously with everybody else. So I'd come over here. That would score me some more points there, but I might hit the scientists. So would I want to do that? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'd want to do something else. How about that? It would give me one less coin, but I wouldn't have to hurt that poor, poor unsuspecting scientist as well. Uh, that would hit me. I don't, I don't want that one either. Ooh, how about, how about this one? Bam. And then of course, finally, you would just bust out just like that. Once that happens, I would end the round and anybody else playing would stop wherever they're at. And you tally up points. Did you harm any scientists? No. Did you place five tiles in a sector? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and four, and four, so I wouldn't get that points. Rub your head on the top, I did. So I get five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 total points, which would take the tracker here and you'd put down, I already wrote down one of our games we play with John and Callie and Grant. And then of course, uh, this with the round would end. You would take all of these things off and you would take keep these things here. And I believe you're going to just flip them over. And after you flip them over once, the next round, you're simply pass them. It's one, one way or the other, but you get the idea. So that way it's going to change the way the game works. Then you're going to deal out these different items based on the number of players. The person with the lowest amount of points is going to get to choose one. Then they have different bonuses. Run uh, Before run starts, place two tiles on your lab. So these two you can take. No one else can use them. Or before each run, grab, the grab one tile and place it in your lab after the run ends. Okay, the round's over. Now I can place it somewhere. That's going to score me bonus points. And then there's the freeze matter. Uh, opponents freeze opponents and then place one time lab okay stop guys okay continue that's how it works now, of course you have to follow the rules of placement as well though and then of course the rounds will continue you do another round that's going to score put out more coin cards uh, some people can pick them up and it'll change depending on the different types of cards and uh that's basically the idea of the game whoever has the most points at the end of the game is going to win and this in this one Callie stomped us all and the guy named Winner here is actually me, who I did the least, <laughs> the least best. But that's the idea. Let's go ahead and talk about it. So I don't have any caveats for the game. As you've seen it played is how it is done. Let's go right into the review and talk about it. The first thing is this game is a dexterity game and it functions just like the app does. As you saw the app already and you saw how the game is played, it's very similar. You bust in, you go through and you end. Whoever has the most points after three rounds is the winner, avoiding certain obstacles and gaining certain point values and gaining certain item cards, as well as obtaining these missions and doing them perfectly. I mean, the more points, the better, right? Some people are gonna be obviously better at this game than others. And as you play the game, you're going to get better and better and learn. Uh, the first time I played this game, I won. Ever since then, I have never won because my opponents got better and better and I never got any better, which is still okay because I still really enjoy the game. It's a fun game. It's it's like Blocus on steroids, right? You're moving the pieces around the board. You're trying to dodge things. You feel just like the app. If I had to uh, guesstimate how a board game would function with that specific app, it would be this one to perfection. In fact, there are some things I'd like to see more of, more different types of cards, additional types of um, things you could blow up on. Maybe even bigger boards would be kind of fun. Even different tips to uh, these things but realistically 
if I were to think about what is needed for this game to actually fit in with the app, this would be perfect. It is exactly what you would expect, and it feels so close to that app that if you like Jetpack Joyride, if you really like this app, you're really going to like this game. They did an excellent job, and it meets the criteria. The um, artwork is pretty cool. It all feels like a game. It feels like one of those mobile-slash-Android-style games, but yet it gives it that board game feel. You get the fact that you get to communicate with other people. There's a lot of ragtag fun and craziness. Uh, now, also, though, I must say the one thing that there's only one thing that really was like eh to me some of these cards are very powerful and other ones are not right so at the end of every round you'd score four points that's pretty good right but some of them are really really good like there's one that you can fly through zappers every time somebody's had this game card in the game they have won hands down they they not only scored more points than us because i don't have to worry about all the traps but they also got to the end and uh beat us all because they were, they were able to dodge the things now i understand the idea behind it it's cool that i like to see the cards that there's better ones than others because the last player gets to choose them first which makes makes it more likely for them to be able to catch up but not to the point where they just smoke people uh, that's the only one that really bothered me though the rest of them are really fantastic they're really fun there's one of them that makes you jump off the floor so every time you go down the floor and come up you get two points works really well i thought it was gonna be really powerful but it's really hard to use, so um, it's fun. I really enjoy this game. This is actually my seal of approval. I definitely recommend this in your collection. I love the Lucky Duck games, and this is no exception to that. This is probably one of my favorite Lucky, Day Duck, Lucky Duck games I've played so far, so I hope that says something. Overall, though, check it out on the Kickstarter and let me know what you think. Personally, thumbs up, pick it up, Jetpack Joyride. Hey guys, thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. If you like this video, go check out the rest of our videos here on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment. It all helps. We do greatly appreciate it. As well as checking out Jetpack Joyride, currently on Kickstarter. You can also go ahead and check out our website that has tons of uh, the giveaways. We currently are giving away a... I believe it's still up for the Broken Token giveaway by... for, uh, for uh, Rising Sun? Yes. And I also believe we are giving away the game oh what is it called i can't remember just go ahead and look it up i'll post it up here that's a great thing about editing later as well as checking out our friends everythingboardgames.com and the giveaway two great sites have tons of great giveaway content they're currently also giving away the game uh, rising sun so mine's the organizer and theirs is actually the game we potentially win both of them from both of our different sites and uh, that that sweet even has my little uh, subscribe down below all right well that's all i got for you this time guys and i appreciate it i look forward to busting through a wall collecting coins and then dashing out before you next time.